Welcome children to RunAllGodsChildren.com. Children of God, thank you for coming to RunAllGodsChildren.com. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, deliver us from evil, for thy is the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. To the only Father, in the name of your Son, our Lord and Savior. Oh, Jesus, have mercy on our souls. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restore my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for thy name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff shall comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoint my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Thank you, children of God, for coming to RunAllGodsChildren.com, where Jesus is the teacher. Whoa! Be unto the pastors. Hi, children of God. Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter, the first and second verse. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Therefore, thus said the Lord God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people. You have scattered my flock and divided them away, driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord. This is what our Lord and Savior shall show you and me, who they are. I would like to meet someone that know our Lord God's word. I read to you, pastor become brutish. Jeremiah, the 10th chapter, 21st verse, read it. Read for yourself. You stand alone. What our God wrote to us, it is for our learning. Now, the truth will be told, read to all God's children who believe. I'm the runner for the prize in the holy book to show we are our Lord and Savior children. To show all God's children what God promised us. Our Lord knows who those pastors are. This is written for our learning. The pastor. Jeremiah, the sixth chapter. The third verse, the shepherd with their flock shall come unto her. 
they shall pitch their tents against her round about. They shall feed every one in his place. In Jeremiah, the sixth chapter, you can read God's judgment. What I like about our Lord God is he tell you why. He tells the children of his wrath who believe our Lord God's word. The pastors. Jeremiah, the 10th chapter, the 21st verse. For the pastors are become beautish and have not sought the Lord. Therefore, they shall not prosper, and all their flock shall be scattered. A friend of mine asked me, is pastors in God's house? I said, that is what is written. It is written, we have to be taught all over again. The first oracle of God. Hebrew, the fifth chapter, the twelfth verse. Read it for yourself. It is written pastors with an S on the end. Make it a lots of pastors. I'm in the race for the prize in the holy book. Trying to find someone that know about the race in the holy book. Jeremiah, the 22nd chapter, the 22nd verse. The wind shall eat up all thy pastors, and thy lovers shall go into captivity. Surely then thou shall, surely then shall thou be ashamed and confounded for all thy wit, wickedness. The children do not know about pastors. Why is the children not taught or read to about pastors? I have not heard pastors read what God wrote about pastors. What do God's children think about what our Lord God wrote to us. Now, do pastors with the S means all pastors or many? I say the most of them who believe God's word. Oh, my God, who believe your writing? This is why it is written, watch. Should I be afraid of the pastors because I'm trying to win the prize in the holy book? Isaiah, the 56th chapter, the 11th verse. Yea, they are greedy dogs, which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, everyone for his gain from his quarters. Read the chapter. Our Lord promised it shall be general without respect of person. General? They had to look it up affecting or concerning all or most people, places or things widespread. Our Lord have no respect of person. Our Lord will bring all to his holy mountain. Do anyone know the inherit of the servant of the Lord, what the servant of the Lord inherits. 
who believe our Lord God's word. Please, my Lord God, in your name, oh, only Father God, who believe. Pastors are the shepherds and servants. This is why our Lord and Savior wrote to us so we will know that he knows. I read to be men in understanding before God. I read that too. To be a man before God in understanding and knowledge of the Holy gives you understanding. I read that to you. Ezekiel, the 34th chapter, the second verse. Son of man, prophesied against the shepherd of Israel. Prophesied and said to them, Thus said the Lord unto the shepherds. Woe be the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? In chapter 34, read for yourself a reproof of the shepherds. I'm trying to be the son of man. As a servant of God, am I supposed to prophesy? I'm reading just running in the race for the prize in the holy book. Our God's children are my witnesses. All will see the work I come to do. Now I'm learning something new has been a servant of our Lord, Father God, the only Father God, and Lord and Savior. I'm their servant, the pastors. Zechariah, the 11th chapter, the 17th verse. Woe to the idle shepherd that leave the flocks. The sword shall be upon his arm and upon his right eye. His arm shall be clean, dried up, and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. Chapter 11 of Zechariah. You have to read that. Read for yourself. The type of a foolish shepherd who believed. That's what written in chapter 11. The type of foolish shepherds. What I'm reading to you is what our Lord and Savior will show us. How righteous is our Lord God. This is the last time the truth will be read. Going into verse 2, remember what verse 2 was. Therefore, thus said the Lord God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, you have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings. The verse 2. I will visit upon you. Epitus. The 32nd chapter. The 34th verse. But when Moses went in before the Lord to speak to him, he took the veil off until he came out and came out and speak unto the children of Israel that which he was commanded. The more 
of God's word be known, the more the evil will take be taken away, the veil. The more God's word be known, the more the veil will be taken away from all God's children's eyes. And then you'll see the world for what it is. By our Lord God's word shall all nations know he is governor. <coughs> Excuse me. The evil of your doings. Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter, the 22nd verse. But they had stood in my counsel. But if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned them from their evil ways and from the evil of their doings. If they did what God asked them to do. That's why he left this word for us to read. Where are the elders that know God's word? When I called on our Lord God, I asked them, O oh Lord, and only Father God, all the children say they know. And some say they got God. Why the world is not better. Reading, I know why. I believe I read where it's written, even if I read it to you, you wouldn't believe it. Evil of their doings. Jeremiah, the fourth Chapter, the fourth verse. Circumcise yourself to the Lord and take away the foreskin of your heart, you men of Judea and inhabitations of Jerusalem. At least my fury come forth like fire and burn that none can quench it because of the evil of your doing. He even tell you why. Circumcise, cut off the, the foreskin of, parenthesis, a young boy or man, especially a baby, as a religious right, especially in Judaism, and is on them, or as a medical treatment. What does our Lord see about the pastors that we don't see? Chapter 4 is the promise of our Lord and Savior. Our Lord asks us to circumcise our heart. Who believe our Lord God's word? Jeremiah, the third chapter, the 25th verse. Oh, children, we lie down in our shame and our confusion cover us. For we have sinned against the Lord our God and we and our fathers from our youth even unto this day and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God. Chapter 3 show us the promise to repentance. Oh, children of God, read for yourself. Take no one word you stand alone. Who will tell our Lord that knows everything, anything? I'm the runner for the prize in the holy book. 
to share with all God's children. Pentance. Filling or showing sorrow and regret for having done wrong. Repentance. And this is what he wrote unto us to know about them that is head of his house. The young lady asked me, said, the, the preacher must have done something wrong with you. I am running in the race. I can read the truth. And he can show you what he wrote to us. Now, I am going to read to you something that is happening now. And everyone will know that our Lord and Savior is going to come back for his children. This is St. Matthew, the fourth Verse, the fourth chapter, the 24th chapter. And they asked our Lord, what is the things of the end? I'm going to find out. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple. And his disciples came unto him for to show the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not those things? Verily, I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon the other shall not be thrown down. And they asked him, where, when will this happen? Then let them that be in the mountain flee up to Judea. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us when these things be and what shall be the sign of the coming of the end of the world. And Jesus answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name saying, I'm Christ, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nations, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be phenom. F-A-M-I-N-E-S. And pestilence. And earthquake. In diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. All these are the beginning of sorrow. I promised unto you that I'm running in the race to win the prize for God's children. But what you need to know I don't know what grandfather God is going to do. 
Don't get mad at me saying grandfather God. I'm trying to be Jesus Christ's son. If I'm Jesus Christ's son, then that will make our father, the only father, that will make him grand. Now, isn't he grand? He gave his only begotten son. And I've been saying that for 20, 40, 40 something years. And I'm even trying to put this in the book. So you will know my sincerity in what our Lord and Savior is going to do to this world. Who knows about the pastors? I didn't know until I read. And it is written, read my words, draw all people unto him. Not telling you what it means, what it says, but reading his words to show you what he is going to show you. Welcome children to runallgodschildren.com where Jesus is the teacher. He can show you better than we can read. And the next one that I'm doing Ezekiel, the 34th chapter, the second verse. Son of man, prophesies against the shepherd of Israel. Prophesies and say unto them, thus saith the Lord God, unto the shepherds, woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherd feed my flock? I'll break it down to you because it goes in different books. God is not slack in his promise. It's a fearful thing to come into the hands of the Lord. And that's what he's going to show all his children. A nation divided cannot stand. A house divided cannot stand. We are children of God, period. Not a color, not a nationality. Children of God. And may God be with us. Take care of yourself. Thank you, children. Children of God, for coming to runallgodschildren.com, where Jesus is the teacher.